there. Welcome to Nonstop Foodies. I'm Katie Turr. Right now we're at Rockography in Greenwich Village. Now this is where the history of rock and roll meets the history of American comfort food. Think macaroni and cheese and fried PB and J. Now everything in this place is a rock and roll theme from the music, obviously this song on right now is awesome, to the walls. One of the co-owners said that the walls were basically inspired by his high school bedroom. Don't go anywhere. This edition of Nonstop Foodies with a rock and roll twist starts right now. So we're starting at the bar because that's always the best place to start in a restaurant, right? Absolutely. Sometimes the best place to end. Now, since we're in a rock and roll themed restaurant, it would only be appropriate to talk about the Ramones. Now, one of the Ramones, Marky Ramone, has a new pasta sauce out, and Sarah Gore got a taste. So now I've got my Sympathy for the Devil, it's a Bloody Mary, which I'm sure you don't know is the best hangover cure, right Rick? Yeah, absolutely. Rick's going to make me another drink, it's called a Less Conversation. Less Conversation, it's a fruity cocktail, a little bit of 42 Below passion fruit, a little bit of passion fruit puree, cranberry juice, champagne, and sour mix. Now we're going to shake that. Now while he's finishing that up, I'm going to send you uptown to Yankee Stadium where Behind the Burner got a taste of what they're cooking up this season. Looks as good as this, then. You're in for a treat. <laughs> you know there are some sections in Yankee Stadium, some of the nicer sections, the ones that cost just an enormous amount of money, that you can actually get a martini in a glass in your seat. But honestly, there's nothing quite like having a beer at the ball game, but with so many beers out there, how do you choose which one? Now to save you some effort and to save you maybe a little bit of stumbling around, you don't have to try all of them, you can watch this Howcast instead. Now that we're all getting a little loose, how about when we come back we go into the kitchen and make a fried peanut butter and jelly. Yes, that does sound like a heart attack, but a good one. Stay with us. So we managed to sneak back into the kitchen with Chef Ted Cipollone. You have a few things you want to show us, but this one is a fried PP&J? That's correct. That sounds awesome. It is. Is it the most awesome thing you make? It is. I it is. Say, yeah. So what do we have to do? So basically, it's just a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and we're just going to dip it in uh, waffle batter and deep fry it. Waffle batter? Waffle batter. I think you're trying to kill me with a heart attack. Mm, maybe. maybe. Yeah. All right. So, so then we... we'll just take it right to the deep fryer. All right. So I'm going to be careful, right? Yes. I don't want to stick my hand in no, it. No, just carefully just dip it right, just like that. Beautiful. So what, what's the inspiration for this dish? Well, we just decided, you know, we were thinking of, of whimsical ways of uh, American comfort food. And what better way than uh, to deep fry a traditional sandwich. So how long do we have to wait Probably for about it? 20 seconds each side, so that's all, probably almost ready to be turned. So we'll just turn it over. Perfect. Yeah. That's some skills, huh? Okay, I'm gonna scoop it out. Now while this drains off some of the grease, I'm gonna send you over to figure out how to make a delicious creamy tomato bisque. Daily Candy caught up with Food & Wine Magazine to show you a really awesome recipe. I told you I would still be eating this when you came back, and we're so comfortably standing here. This doesn't look staged in any way, shape, or form, does it? No, no totally. No, no, no. We just hang out in kitchens like this. Also, as promised, I'm going to send you off to get a uh, recipe for borscht. Working Class Foodies has a working class version of a soup that will warm you up, even as the weather is not quite warm yet. See, now this is my preferred method of working off a fried PB&J. Pinball, right? Totally, totally gonna do it. When we come back, we're gonna have dessert, so you don't wanna go away. Stay with us. Ah, my two entrees for my two cocktails. This is a upscale TV dinner, tater tots, always a good idea and rolled cheeseburgers. I've got a lot to dig into and you have dessert coming towards you. Siafa Lewis checks out New York's new hottest craze, the macaroon. Mmm. Yeah, those macaroons look good, but I have a cheeseburger rolled inside of a spring roll. So who's winning here? I am, duh. That's it for Nonstop Foodies. I'm Katie Turr. Stay hungry, my friends.